I'm uh, Tony Addison, I'm from uh, the United Nations University's uh, World Institute for Development Economics Research. Well, it's an exciting time because nobody would have in 2000 predicted that we would be where we are today. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, set of outcomes, particularly around uh, child nutrition uh, over the last uh, 15 years. But we have some really tough issues going forward, obviously the fragile states, obviously the outbreak of further conflict in Africa and the Middle East, obviously the current Ebola crisis. So this is not a time for anybody to be complacent. But at the same time, it's a time that we've got now to convince everybody who was a skeptic that actually collective action in development does, does work. Uh, it doesn't always work, uh, and it doesn't always work at scale. You know, we can do things at small scale, we need to do big, bigger things. But, you know, we can roll that agenda forward and, and do much better over the next 15 years than we have even in the last 15 years. So I'm a, I'm a real optimist around this. Unless you have data, you don't understand which way society is going. Uh, you need the numbers. You need some quantification of, is poverty falling? Is infant mortality rising? What are we doing about gender equality? And you need good numbers around that. And what I see so far is a lot of chit-chat about big data, whatever that means. And what I want to see is more investment in statistical officers, not only in Africa but across the developing world, so that we get the data to policymakers that, through the work of the International Growth Centre, gives them a gooder idea, a better idea about how you put in place policies to help poor people. Thank you.